Hey everybody, Scott here from uh, Born Again Gaming. I'm just uh, here with another review, a little gadget review. Um, so last time I covered the, the Bluetooth headphones. So uh, this week I purchased myself a smartwatch. So uh, the brand is called Skagen. I'm thinking that's how it's pronounced, or Skagen. Uh, it, at the risk of sounding like I don't know what I'm talking about, it sounds like it might be Swedish. Let's see if there's an about on this site where I can learn more about the uh, the brand. Uh, doesn't look like it, but uh, they make some some pretty interesting watches. This one is a smart watch. It's the Skagen Foster 2. The Skagen Foster 2. Let me see if I can search for that. Silent G? If you guys know how it's pronounced, maybe you can throw it in the, uh, the comments down below. Skagen is a brand initially of watches. This is subsidiary of Fossil. Let me just adjust my camera here and we'll take a look at the actual watch itself. So this is the Skagen. It's, uh, it's a Wear OS by Google Watch. So let's just uh, take a look at the box here. So it tells us that it does uh, text messaging and fitness and of course the time compatible with iPhone and Android. So that's cool. Android OS 4.4 and up Bluetooth 4.2. So yeah, let's crack the box open here. In the box. So I bought this uh, from Best Buy in Canada. Um, that's some information you might want to know. Best Buy had it on sale for pretty much half price. I think I got it for ninety dollars, um, which was ninety nine dollars off. And uh, after tax and everything, it came out to be about uh, $111. So here we have a couple of uh, booklets. Um, this is the user manual with the information on charging and pairing, uh, downloading the Wear OS by Google app. Yep. So lots of uh, information. And in there is the uh, same instructions in multiple languages. Set that aside. Here is the are the multi-language, uh, what would you call this? Safety instructions and regulatory notices, things like that. The frequencies that it's allowed to operate on, all that sort of fun stuff. If you enjoy reading that sort of thing, or if you need something to put you to sleep at night, that might be fun to take a look at. So in the box here, now we have the watch uh, bits. We have in one side, the magnetic charging adapter, so USB-A on one end and a magnet on the other end, which you lay the watch on top of. So I'm just going to pull this out here. So the Falster 2, it's got a interesting little design. The inside of the band is a gray color compared with the black on the outside. We have the logo on the inside here. It feels a little bit more comfortable maybe then uh, the smartwatch I have now is called a uh, Verizon Wear 24 you may not have heard of it Verizon made it and then put it on clearance and fire sold it <clears throat> I got mine for $80 through eBay uh, a guy had a ton of them it sounds like and he's now selling them for like 30 or 40 dollars a piece um, just trying to dump as many of them as he can, I guess. So uh, it's actually worked pretty well for me for a couple of years now. Uh, two or three years. Two years. Two and a half. So it uh, 
hoping that this one, I know that this one is a generation behind as well, the uh, Falster 3 is like $390 on Best Buy's website right now. It's the newest model that Best Buy has uh, of a smartwatch for this brand. But uh, yeah, I'm really interested to get this connected up to my phone and try it out. Uh, it has a heart rate monitor um, and most of the usual stuff I would imagine that Wear OS supports. So I'm just gonna peel off this protective layer time on it. Stick that over there. We have to stick over here. I'll always be there in the corner of the video now. The rest of the video. So actually maybe I should look at those instructions because I'm not sure how to turn it on once I've charged it. I have charged it. Charge and then press the center button. So vibration, the logo. Uh, one of the things that attracted me to this actually is that the watch band is replaceable. The watch brand is not replaceable. Oh, that's funny. That's a little cute thing. Uh, the watch band is not replaceable on the Wear 24, the Verizon Wear 24 that I picked up. Uh, but this one has quite a few different options that I found on Best Buy's website alone. Uh, and I imagine I could probably find some in uh, a couple other places like Amazon or eBay, I'm guessing. So I'm going to look into some other bands. There's some leather bands and metal bands. I think it would look nice with this. I chose the black and gray on the inside with the black uh, face and uh, trim. by Google. Time to begin. And speaking English. And it looks like English Canada is not an option, so I guess I am English United States. I agree to the terms of use. On your phone, download and open Wear OS by Google. So we're just gonna go into the Wear OS app here. Got it around here somewhere. Wear OS. And we're looking for the Skagen Falster 21556. That's probably backwards for you. But I am going to add a new watch. I agree to the terms of service. I will send diagnostic information. And I'm just waiting for the list to populate. Why didn't anybody tell me that I wasn't wearing my hat? Connect to this watch name. It's not appearing on the list. Show all devices. I'm gonna tap, I can't see my watch. Because I can't. <clears throat> I don't know how long I'm supposed to wait. If you can't find the name of your watch, make sure that your watch and phone are both powered on. Oh yes, I do believe that they are. It's Bluetooth on, Bluetooth is on, the current watch is connected. Tap your watch name when it appears on the list. So ready. Here we go. I didn't waste ninety dollars on this watch, right? One hundred and twelve dollars. All right, everybody. So, just doing a little bit of reading. I tried restarting the watch a couple of times. I've tried factory resetting the watch. I have read through the uh, help in the Wear OS app. So now I'm going to attempt again to add a new watch. It says that I needed to turn on location services for the Wear OS app in Android, that uh, some watches require location services to turn on. Okay. 
So guys, I rebooted uh, my phone and <clears throat> I didn't start up the screen recording right away because I wondered if that was causing a problem as well. I don't know how it would or why it would, but just wanted to try, try and eliminate everything from it. So I rebooted my phone, rebooted the watch, didn't start screen recording, and when I got into the app, it uh, searched for mm, 10 seconds. And uh, then the watch showed up. I got a pairing request. I showed uh, a code on the screen of the watch like this. Pairing request, again, backwards for you guys. But that says 327522, LG G7 ThinQ would like to connect. That's my watch, LG G7. And I approved that message on the screen. Push the button. And now I've got this. So guys, uh, actually the uh, the screen recording there that I was doing with the, uh, the Google Play Games app was interfering. So once I eliminated that, I was able to, uh, to get a connection and uh, everything is, uh, is connected great now to my phone and uh, looks good. So, so uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. I'm hoping to uh, get a watch face uh, that will show my blood sugar because I really like that on the Wear 24. I had the Dexcom app. Is it upside down? Yeah. My blood sugar level's high. I had the Dexcom app that showed my uh, blood sugar level constantly from my Dexcom CGM continuous glucose monitor. So, uh, yeah, it would be <clears throat> great if I could get that back on here. I'm going to look into that later, but um, it's similar again to the, the Wear, the Verizon Wear 24. It's, uh, um, I mean, Wear OS is going to be the same across the board. It should be where you swipe to one side to get your uh, Google Fit information, fitness tracker, swipe up for notifications, down for settings, and across for your Google Assistant with things like the weather and little tidbits of wisdom from people like Mother Teresa. Very straightforward, uh, very nice, uh, sharp screen. Uh, the three buttons do basic things like brings up the, uh, the list of applications that are installed. If I can see, I don't see Dexcom listed there, so I might have to uh, install that again through the Play Store. But uh, your apps, this button down here brings you to Google Fit, to the actual Google Fit app. So swiping to the side just gives you a little bit of a preview of the Google Fit application. This opens the full Google Fit application shows you your move minutes and things like that and then you can scroll down to see quite a few more different things there's a guided breathing exercise it shows you your steps calories kilometers turn on background heart rate I'm gonna say yes turn that on so it's gonna constantly be reading my heart rate and probably uploading that to Google fit on my phone and in the cloud wrist is supposed to stay flat while you're doing this test, so I'm just going to lay it down flat on the desk there. Then you've got your workouts uh, and settings. So that's the full Google Fit app. This third button, not really sure what it does at the moment, but we'll check that out later. So uh, that's been the uh, Skein Falster 2, and uh, it's a pretty nice watch. Let's take some, uh, let's take another look at it here.
been another Born Again Gaming review video. That was the Skagen Falster 2. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you liked the video. And if you really liked it, subscribe and uh, check out some more videos as they come out. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.